Hey there, let me show you how to get stock data into Google Sheets using an API and the Epiphany add-on and then make an app out of that data using the Glide app. So the first thing we're going to do is sign up for a stock API. In this example, we're using the StockDO API, which is StockDO.com. So go ahead and create an account there if you want to follow the same example. And after signing in, you're going to click Endpoints in the menu at the top. So once you're in endpoints, the next thing we're going to want to do is click data. Right now we're looking at the visualization endpoints, but we just want data. So we're going to look at the data endpoints. Once you're in the data endpoints page, go ahead, go ahead and pick the data that you want. So for this example, let's just go ahead and get latest prices. So after you uh, get to the page for the endpoint that you want to use, go ahead and click live test. And when you click live test, you can build a URL here that gets the data that you need from, the, from this particular API. So for this example, you can see that the parameters that we've chosen are the NYSE uh, stock exchange. And these are the symbols that we're going to look up right here. Apple, Microsoft, Google, Facebook, and Oracle. So you can change these parameters however you want. Um, and you can put one company here, you can put multiple companies here, and you can change your exchange. Other endpoints that you look at uh, with this API, you might be able to add dates to the parameters, um, but go ahead and make the parameters exactly how you want them. And the next thing we're going to do is copy this URL that gets created right here. So we're going to copy that URL, and you can see within this URL we have a parameter for our app key. So this is the unique app key for your account and you can see that the symbols uh, are appended right there at the end as well. Okay, so, so after clicking apply to apply the exact parameters that you want to use, go ahead and copy your URL. And the next thing we're going to want to do is open the Epiphany add-on in our Google Sheet. So if you have not installed the Epiphany add-on yet, go ahead and click get add-ons and search for Epiphany, A-P-I-P-H-E-N-Y. Once you've installed Epiphany in your Google Sheet, uh, go ahead and refresh your Google Sheet until this shows up right here. And once Epiphany shows up in, in the menu at the top of your Google Sheet, click Import API. And the next thing we're going to do is paste the URL that we copied over from the Stock Deal API. OK, so. Here's Epiphany. Uh, it's a Google Sheets add-on that makes it easy to import API data into your sheet. And you can see right here under API URL path, all we want to do is paste the URL for our API. In this case, it's the Stockdio API URL with our app key and our parameters for the company's data that we want to query. You can leave headers empty. You don't need to enter anything there for this particular API, but you might need to add a header for a different API that requires it. You can choose a pen mode if you want, and you can also include the date of your request if you want, but we're going to leave those blank for now. Okay, so once you've pasted in your URL up here, go ahead and click Run. And you'll see that we're going to import the latest prices for all these companies um, that we chose. Apple, Microsoft, Google, Facebook, and Oracle. So you can see here at um, you can see here the prices 125, 237. Great. So once you have the data that you need in your Google Sheet, um, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to create an app with this data using the Glide app. So I have Glide open here. I'm already signed in. Go ahead and register for a new account if you haven't already. And uh, on the dashboard, I'm just going to click New App, Continue. We're going to select the file that we want to extract our data from into the app. And once you have the data open, uh, you can go ahead and use the Glide designer to design the app how you want. So I'm going to, I'm going to deselect all these tabs that I don't want to show up. We only want the data from the stock deal API. And you can see we, we have the symbol here, so we can change that to say anything we want. And when people click on that, they're going to see the latest prices for the stocks that we chose. So if you want to make a portfolio for a specific set of stocks and share it with people, this is a great way to do it.